So l let's start with kind of an evidence of inheritance. I think, you know, this is kind of the easier one to check off. You've got to have some kind of documented um, proof that this, this money is actually yours. This comes down to an ownership of capital question, right? So in the U.S., we have wills, right? If no will exists, then usually within the U.S. states, there will be an intested succession uh, plan, right? Each state can be a little bit different. Sometimes it goes to the spouse first. Sometimes it goes to the parents first. But basically, you want to have some proof. It could be a final order from a wills trust in the state's uh, judge. It could be uh, or a state court order, I suppose. Um, any kind of proof that this money that has now been given to you is your inheritance, okay? Um, if no will exists, obviously you're going to pull the local uh, rules. You're going to print out the, the state um, rules for intestate succession, and you're going to use that as proof that you are now the rightful heir of the assets and that the money actually belongs to you. Um, the source of these funds is, is, is pretty important, right? So it, it seems crazy, but just getting the funds as an inheritance is not enough for USCIS. They need to know also how did the donor come across this money, right? Whether it was real estate, whether it was actual cash, whether it was maybe in investments in brokerage accounts, they need to know basically how did the donor come up with um, their source of funds and then ultimately that the gift was made properly to you. So this is a two-part analysis that again goes back to ordinary income. This time instead of you as the investor doing the ordinary income analysis, it will be the person providing the gift or the inheritance. Um, we didn't really talk about gift here, but really quickly, a gift kind of follows the exact same rules, right? The gift is being given by someone who's a family or a friend. Um, you're going to want to establish that relationship, right? Who is this person? It's not just someone on the street that found you and decided to be benevolent. And then again, you're going to have to show their source of funds and go through that, that detailed analysis of where they got that money from that they are now gifting to you.